guys, so I've got a huge homeware haul today. As you might know, I moved house really recently and I've been collecting stuff for it for like the last two months. Like ever since I knew that I was gonna move, I've been collecting things. So I'm gonna jump straight in and show you what I got because this is gonna be quite a long video, I think. The first thing I got is this. It's like a leaf print cushion. Now on my new sofa, I wanted like a pop of color in cushions. So I decided to get these. I really like banana leaf prints as well. As you can see here, cause I got another cushion. This is a proper like banana leafy one. And these were from Society6. And I just think they're gonna add a really nice like greeny, earthy vibe to my place. I'm really liking the color green lately, as you can see with the tree and stuff. I just think it's a really nice like fresh looking color. So I got these. I did have to pay customs on them though. So watch out for that. The next cushion I got is this one. And it's a loopy like, she, oh, I've just painted my nails. This is not a good idea. Yeah, it's like a woolen loopy cushion. I've got a lot of white fluffy things in my new place. The theme of it is like pops of green with gold furnishings and white. So I decided to get this. It was from H&M Home and I really, really like this. Kind of wish I got two. Moving on to some prints. This actually wasn't a print that I bought. This is some wallpaper. And I bought this wallpaper at Oliver Bonus, but I think such a good idea, honestly, is to just get a frame and fill it with some wallpaper that you really like. I think this looks awesome and it adds a nice pop of color again. My sofa is actually pink, so this kind of goes with it. And I've also got this, the wallpaper. Did I say wallpaper? I actually meant wrapping paper, but the wrapping paper of this one is from Oliver Bonus as well. This is just pink with like white scribbles on and it's got green cacti on it. Oh, another print was from Society6 and I actually got these gold frames from a shop that I'm gonna link below because I was really struggling to find gold frames that looked quite classy because a lot of them were like really like yellow gold and I hate that. But I found these ones and I got this print that matches one of the cushions because I thought it'd like tie the cushions in quite nicely and it's a really, really big one as well. May as well carry on with prints. The next one that I got are some cacti and they're like little watercolor ones. This was from the shop Tiger and it's so cute. Some of the cacti have got like little hearts in them. It's adorable, but I think I'm gonna change this frame to a gold one because I've got like a black and gold kind of theme with my prints that I'm gonna have on a print wall and the white frame doesn't really go with it. Oh my God, something that I absolutely love. This print is actually from an Etsy store and it's a girl who does like charcoal drawings and then creates a print from them. So your page, doesn't get charcoal everywhere because it's like a print version of it, if that makes any sense. But I've got this and it's a little meerkat and it's so cool. It's proper hand drawn as I've just said. And it reminds me a lot of Nelly because sometimes when he looks at stuff, he looks like a little meerkat. So I got that. I'll link everything that I can find below, by the way. One more print and then I'm gonna move on to other stuff. This is my Harry Styles print. I'm honestly obsessed. It's on a luminous yellow background, which matches my nails. <laughs> This was not planned, but it's fate. And he's in his little heart top that he wore. I don't remember what he wore it to, but when he wore it, it like sold out. It's amazing, everyone wanted it, including me, never got it. But this print was from a shop in London and it's on Carnaby Street, which is one of my favorite streets. And it's called, I don't remember what the store is called, but it's honestly amazing if you're looking for prints. They are quite expensive. I think this was 30 or 35 pounds but I'm not gonna be getting rid of this anytime soon. So to me, it's completely worth it to spend more money on prints. I love this one so much and I can't wait to hang it up. Once a Harry girl, always a Harry girl. Am I right? <laughs> Actually, my favorite has always been Liam for some reason. I don't even have a reason why, it just is. <laughs> okay, moving on to something from H&M Home. This is a massive cushion. When I say massive, I mean massive. It's like a pillow that you would get on a bed and a half and it just says, Good morning, wake up and be awesome in this graphic print. I really, really like this. I wanted my bed bedroom to be quite fun because it's like up there on a balcony level and it doesn't get that much daylight. So I wanted to like brighten it up with either pops of color or like printed things. And I thought this was just a really cool thing because obviously it's a big white cushion, which is light, but then it's got like a bold print on it. I love this so much. I'm gonna spoon with it if anyone's single. I feel your pain. <laughs> Moving on to this. I don't actually know what to call this, but it's a little gold like lantern holder, plant pot 
tin. <laughs> I'm gonna just put a plant in this. It's actually got holes in, so I can't put one like directly in it, or the mud would come out. But I just saw this in H&M Home, and I really liked it. It was reduced to seven pounds. I'm not sure. Oh, it was meant to be 14.99, so it was lower than half price. And since one of the themes of my place is gold, I thought I would pick that up. On to another gold thing. I'm trying to get into fashion. Not that you would know right now. This is the only top I own. That's submarine. It's gone so hot in the UK lately. It's been like 30 and over degrees, which is ridiculous. And I've just like given away and sold all my summer clothes. So I've got this one top, but my point is, I got this rack. I got this for magazines because I want to start collecting Vogue magazine just because I think it's always really nice Like if you've got people around and I'm maybe not in or I'm busy or whatever, they can just sit and flick through Vogue. But I want to get really into fashion. I'm starting to really, really love it so much. So I thought that would be really nice just to keep next to my sofa. Another print is huge. This says it's cool to be kind on it. And I think everybody needs to take this motto into their brains. I got this from Oliver Bonus and I think it was like £75, which seems ridiculous. I'm going to keep this for so long and it's absolutely bloody massive and it came in a frame and it's just really well made. So I thought it was definitely worth the money for me. I can't wait to do a big art wall behind my sofa. My sofa comes on August 30th. I'm not too sure when this video is going to go up, maybe before then, but I can't really do my art wall until my sofa's come because I don't know how high it's going to be and stuff, but I'm buzzing to do like a print wall behind it. I think it's going to look amazing. I got two of these from H&M Home and they're just little glass pots and I've got a little glass lid and I got these for in my bathroom to put cotton buds and cotton pads in. They were... $7.99 each, but I think that they're always going to look really classy. Another thing that I got from H&M Home, this is not sponsored by the way, I just really like H&M Home. This is kind of a coaster and it's gold and it's got like this shell print on it. I just really liked this for maybe on my coffee table with a nice vase of flowers on. I thought that would be really nice. From Marks and Spencers, I got these and these are coasters. These are three quarter marble and like a quarter wood. It comes with four of them. And I think these are gonna look awesome on my coffee table. I've actually got a gold coffee table from West Elm and it's got like a glass top. I just thought these would look really nice on it. Oh my God, how cute is this? This is from H&M Home and it's a little plate. And I just thought this would be so nice on one of my shelves. It's got little black cats on with white spots and they've got gold eyes and it's got a gold rim around it. This was, I'm pretty sure it was like seven pounds, but it's super nice. I wish I could have all my plates <laughs> in this design, but I just got one because I thought it would be nice to kind of decorate with. From Oliver Bonus, I got this stag head and I've actually got a bar cart from Oliver Bonus. I'm not going to show it in this haul, like I'm not going to show bigger items that I've bought, but I will be doing an apartment tour at the start of September, I'm pretty sure. So make sure you look out for that if you wanna see what other things I've been buying. But I've got a bar cart now and I thought I would get a wine stopper and this is just a little stag and I really like it. From Urban Outfitters, I got these little pots and I did a photo shoot recently and in the photo shoot they had a lot of plants and I actually got to keep the plants. So I've got some little cacti at home. I say home, I mean like my other flat because I still own my other flat for like 10 more days when I'm filming this. My lease is up on the 5th of September so I kind of still own it right now. But back at my other flat, Ugh. I've got the cacti that I forgot to bring so I can't show you them in here but they're just gonna look adorable in these. I love this candle so much. The scent is kind of vanilla -y but fresh at the same time. It smells like you've burnt a vanilla candle but you've also been cleaning. <laughs> really nice. This was $12.99 and this is from H&M Home. Oh my god I've got a massive window and people are watching me. Oh this is gonna be nice and awkward all the time. <laughs> As I was saying, this was from H&M Home and it's in a stone little... Oh, they keep watching me. <sighs> this is in a stone pot. I thought this would look nice on my coffee table. And it says Pine Forest Candle. I just think it's really funky looking. It's like very Pinterest or Tumblr. Oh my God, guys, how cute are these? As I said earlier, I'm totally single. But I decided to get these cups anyway. And one says you and one says me on it. I thought these were adorable. Even if I just use them as decoration, they are so cute. They're from H&M Home. I also got the gold shell thing in this black one as well. Onto a couple of things for my bathroom. These are from H&M Home. And I've got a cup and a soap dispenser. And these say general goods, 
unclassified standard. I don't really know what that means, but I just liked them. They looked very tumblery to me. Right, we're on to the last two things now. I got these from Oliver Bonus in their sale, and they are marble salt and pepper shakers. One of them is a slate grey and then the other is white and I think these are amazing, can't wait to put them in my kitchen. And then the last thing I got is another thing to put cacti in and it's this, it's like a half moon. I'm just going to put like three little cacti in there and then stand them on a shelf. So that is the end of my massive homeware haul. Be sure to subscribe if you would like to see my apartment tour that's coming soon. Also, in September, I'm going to be doing quite a lot of collabs with my friends, so that's going to be really exciting. I thought I'd switch up my channel a bit and just have a bit more fun with it, rather than thinking of like quite serious tutorials to do or whatever. I'm going to just do a month where I do lots of videos with friends, so be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see that. Also, I'm daily vlogging and I've done moving vlogs on my vlog channel, so I'll leave a link to that below if you would like to subscribe to there. Give this video a thumbs up if you can't wait for my full apartment tour because I can't wait to film it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Now I've got to tidy this up. Pray for gaps. Okay, bye! <gasps>